How is it going, mates? You are on our Football News channel, and here we bring you the most important news of the past 24 hours. Subscribe if you're not with us yet, support us with a like and write in the comments below which player you are going to miss at the future World Cup 2022. And while you are typing, we proceed to begin. Let's get the show on the pitch. Luis Enrique will reject Manchester United as he does not want to create problems for the national team of Spain. Ronaldo is about to participate at the fifth World Cup. Moreover, he had already taken part in five Euros. He has not missed a single tournament since 2004. Alvaro Morata stated he wants to remain at Juventus. Raúl expressed a desire to lead Real Madrid. He talked about the matter in an interview with Marca. The UAE and Australia are set to compete for the last ticket to the 2022 World Cup from Asia in the summer. Maguire was booed at Wembley during England's tie versus Côte d'Ivoire. It cannot be that state clubs go hand in hand with UEFA to do what they want. The Super League is far from abandoned, Laporta said. Manchester United appreciates Julian Nagelsmann's work, but the Bavarians believe the coach will not leave Bayern, informs the Telegraph. Barcelona have reached out to Usman Dembele's agent to reopen contract negotiations. Ferdinand commented on a search for a new coach for Manchester United. There is no available man like Pep Guardiola out there, Rio claimed. Timo Werner wants to queue Chelsea. According to sportinds.de, he is estimated at 40 million euros. Super League isn't over. American bank JP Morgan is already working behind the scenes on it, said Philip Holzer, former manager of investment bank Goldman Sachs. Erling Haaland made a brace in the first half of the match against Armenia. He has 15 goals in 17 appearances for Norway. Christian Eriksen scored for Denmark in a second match in a row. This time Christian succeeded against Serbia. Eden Azar is going to miss two four weeks of action after the operation, informs the official website of Real Madrid. Milan and Inter have reached a dead end with the project of a new stadium due to bureaucracy and criticism of environmentalists. It is possible to build the construction in another area. Juventus would like to return Paul Pogba, but are not willing to pay him more than 10 million euros a year. Arsenal can offer Alexander Lacazette a contract for a year with the possibility of an extension for one more campaign. Atletico intend to buy Lautaro in case Los Colchoneros qualify for the Champions League. Martinez is happy at Inter but also ready to jump ship to make the club profit. Arsenal are willing to sell Lucas Torreira to Fiorentina for 15 million euros. European top clubs supported the idea of distributing two places in the Champions League tournament according to their position in the UEFA club rankings. We still owe Italians an apology. We wanted to give 60 million Italians that joy, including children who have never seen the World Cup, Mancini stated. Manchester United rumors, I am where I want to be, in Sevilla, I'm happy, Julian Lopetegui admitted. Real Madrid, Manchester United and Liverpool are eyeing Jude Bellingham. Los Blancos see the heir to Modric in him. West Ham are targeting Alexander Zinchenko with the amount of the deal being estimated at £40 million. Rannick suggested that the Premier League referees train alongside the clubs so that the players could get to know them better. Benzema and Mendy train individually. Their participation in a match against Celta is in doubt. Chelsea will not be able to sell tickets for Premier League home games until the end of the season. Only subscription holders will be able to attend the games. Everybody is against the Super League. It does not exist. Neither the first version nor the second, explained PhD president Nasser al Halifi. I really like Joao Felix. Last summer, we were working to complete a swap deal with Atletico Madrid between Joao Felix and Antoine Griezmann. Then it collapsed. Laporta shared. Dario Serna condemned the Premier League, Serie A and the Bundesliga for the ban on registering Ukrainian players. Such measures do not help. 
Dario believes. Cercle Brugge goalkeeper Miguel van Damme has died at the age of 28 from leukemia. Mancini received the Golden Tapir Award after a failed attempt to qualify for the World Cup. It was made the size of a van for the first time. I see Madrid eliminating Chelsea. The team is ready and the most beautiful moment of the season begins, Raúl said. I want to win La Liga. Barca can't do it. Xavi is doing everything like in the movies, Laporta noted. Yesterday, we witnessed lots of good quality football. All results are in front of you. Now it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. Yesterday, a number of games took place to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. As for the European zone, Poland defeated Sweden 2-0, Lewandowski and Zielinski secured the victory. In another clash, Portugal coped with North Macedonia with an identical score, 2-0 with Bruno Fernandes' brace, while Ronaldo and Jota provided him assists. In Africa, Ghana, Senegal, Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia made it to the Grand Tournament. Besides, we highlight the drama of Mohamed Salah, who did not manage to convert his penalty in a post-match shootout versus Senegal. His teammate Sadio Mane, in turn, scored in the decisive take. Atletico want to keep Antoine Griezmann in their squad. Atletico Madrid signed Griezmann on loan from Barcelona for a year last summer, with the option to extend the deal for another season. The condition for extending the loan is the participation of the player in at least 50% of the matches. Already at the moment, this condition is fulfilled. In addition, the loan deal also provides for a mandatory buyout clause of the player for 40 million euros after the second season, if he takes part in at least half of the matches. PSG are aiming for Paulo Dybala and Ousmane Dembele. The French club is following the matters around the Argentinian striker of Juventus very closely and also monitoring Barcelona winger. The current contracts of both expire in the summer. Kylian Mbappe is not considering a move to Barcelona. The French striker is looking for only two options to pursue his career. He will either stay at PSG or move to Real Madrid. Barcelona is not an option for him to continue his path. PSG are still trying to negotiate a new contract with the 23-year-old striker. Mbappe's deal with Real Madrid has yet to be signed. There is no final decision yet, and in the upcoming weeks, the Parisians will have one more attempt in convincing Kylian to stay. Real Madrid go on working on the transfer of the Frenchman. Paris Saint-Germain are ready to release Messi and Neymar next summer if worthy offers follow. The club thinks that the players did not live up to expectations. Many people called Barcelona the most likely place to come for both, though the Catalan club completely changed their views. Laporta confirmed that now Messi's comeback is not a thing anymore, and Lionel himself does not want to return to the Blaugranas while Laporta is in charge. As for Neymar, Enric Masi, Laporta's advisor, said, Neymar has always shown that he picks the team that gives him the most money. That's why we'd rather sign players that would give their life up for Barca, even if they have less talent. In recent weeks, there have been direct talks between Laporta and Lewandowski's agent, Pini Zahavi. An excellent relationship developed between them. There is no agreement with the footballer and there is no official bid from Bayern that will try to extend the contract with the pole, but Barca are still there. Lewandowski wants to try himself at La Liga, and given the lack of interest from Real Madrid, he could possibly accept Barca's offer. Barcelona president Joan Laporta told RAC1 a lot of captivating things. We have already arranged a couple of transfers. The contracts of these players were expiring, so we could negotiate with them. One is a midfielder, the other one is a centre-back. But I am not allowed to mention their names. Top players want to join Barca, that's clear. 
I can't say if we're in talks for Lewandowski and Salah or not, or into the club they'll tell me that I'm creating problems in the negotiations. Holland and Mbappe in Barcelona, the economic conditions that I've been told these two deals would cost. We'd never accept to spend those figures. No way, I see both of them really far from Barca, Laporta concluded. Friends, there was a huge explosion in Russia last night. Is this a Ukrainian counterattack? Our colleagues from the Beep News Project have already figured it out. Check out their latest release. The Football News Channel was with you. Thanks everyone for watching and bye-bye.